Of Freilich and Chanukah, everybody. This is Donnie Kunzler, and welcome to another episode of The Spirit of the Song. Today, Baruch Levine, another composer who just keeps putting out beautiful, beautiful music, songs that are so heartfelt, songs that are just sung in so many households in the Jewish world. And when it comes to this time of year, Hanukkah time, so there's one song that I know I sing in my house every single year. And although the kids are like rushing to get to the Hanukkah presents, they know that at the end of the lighting, we sing Maos Tzor. And when we get to Chasoif, we sing the absolutely beautiful niggin that Baruch Levine composed and that can be found on Yaakov Shweki's very, very first album, Shamati. And uh, there, there were a lot of amazing songs in that album. There was Rachim, there was Mehera. But every single year when it comes to this time of year, when it comes to Hanukkah, so many people that I know just can't stop singing Chasayf. So again, I reached out to Baruch Levine to give us the insight, some inspiration, some meaning, and a little bit of the story of his beautiful song, Chasayf. Thank you so much again, Rabbi Kunstler, for inviting me to, uh, to participate in this beautiful, beautiful venture. Now, the song Chasayf is really a very, uh, it's a song that I wrote many, many years ago. Um, it's still sung today because it's a Yom Tif Nigen, a Hanukkah Nigen comes up once a year and it, you know, comes back. And I wrote it when I was in learning in Yeshiva Taras Moshe in Yerushalayim, and we went out to the Chatzar to light the... Uh, Hanukkah Neiros, and it's the first time in my life that I ever paid, paid attention to what the words of Ma'is Sur is, and I can't say that I know every single word even today, but what I did pick up was that Ma'is Sur, after the introductory paragraph, has four different stanzas, and each one is referring to another Golos that we've been through, and you can see in the first one, Ra'i Saba, we say, Chel Paroi V'chol Zarei, obviously Golos Mitzrayim. In the second one of Devir Kachai, we talk about Zeru Bavel, Kate's Bavel, obviously Golos Bavel. And then the next one, we talk about Agagi, we talk about Haman, and of course, we kind of end with Yavanim, um, which was, you know, the Neis Hanukkah, Meneis Kankanim. And then what's this Chasoy Zeray Kachacha? And I was finally realized that the, we ended with a Tfila, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu should take us out of this Golos that we're in right now. And Korikates Ha Yeshua. And sometimes when you write a song, we're just talking that sometimes they come easy, sometimes you work very hard. And this one, um, it came fairly easy. Kadesh Baruch Hu, you know, gave, gave me the, the gift of writing a song. And right away, I went inside, and I guess instead of learning Musr that night, because it was uh, second Seder, then it was Hadlaka, then Musr Seder, I opened up a, uh, a Siddur. And this is when the tune came to me. I was just learning in yeshiva then, in my maybe third year base medrash, and I wrote the song. Now, I gave it to somebody who, I think his name was Yehuda Gellis at that time, and he sent it, sent the song around. And a year later, I was in yeshiva smir, and I get a phone call in my dira from uh, Yochi Briskin, a producer, that he heard the song and he wants to buy it. So he says, who do you want to uh, buy the song for? I, I told him, you know, who are you, who are you buying it for? He, I said, what, Mordechai and David, Avram Fried? He says, no, a new singer, but he's very good. Somebody new on the market. His name is Yaakov Shweki. So, you know, as the Yeshiva Bachar getting a phone call on his dira that someone wants to buy his song, it didn't matter who it was. And um, I guess to say the rest is history. So the song should uh, give us all a chizik. It should be a tefillah. That Kaddish Baruch Hu should indeed carry of Kate Sai Yeshua. She bring us back, bring us, you know, the kind nikmas dam of adecha. It's been too long. Ki archalanu ha Yeshua. It's taking too long. Hashem should bring us all back to Yerushalayim. We should be able to light the neighbors in the base Hamikdash together with Mashiach Tidkenu b'mehera v'yameinu. Amen. Chasoy 